Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS D5105D. The exact model is a pretty long one, it's a D5105DA-BQ1343W. That information can be found on the bottom sticker on the bottom of the laptop, in case you wonder. That's the long number on top of the serial number. With that number you can see exactly what kind of CPU you have, every configuration. In this video, I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean and repaste the CPU, the fan system, the motherboard at home. It's really easy. You can do it under 10 to 15 minutes if you take your time. And I'm gonna go cover up the tools that I'll be using. And tool number one, it's an iFixit screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab it. It's a really good screwdriver. These are made out of S2 class steel bit. They're really tough and steel. You're gonna use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You will need a spatula, plastic or uh, wooden rod like this. A workshop towel, it is a good to have one sheet of the workshop towel. And already have one. You need an alcohol, 99%, 98% isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, a good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4, but if you want to go overkill, overboard, you can go with a thermal grizzly prior These are one of the best thermal paste out there. But for this brand, for this one, Arctic MX4, it's more than enough. And also a toothbrush, used or new toothbrush to clean the fan system. All right, with all this said, let's get it started. Power off, face it upside down. Make sure the front end of the laptop is facing you because there's a three types of screws in here. The short ones, the medium, and the long screws. The short ones is in the front end of the laptop. There are four of them. The mediums are the mid from the side, mid here. So these three are the medium screws. The long screws are the three at the back end of the laptop. So go ahead and remove all these screws and keep them in a separate file so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out through your own service upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. There we have it. Once we remove all the screws, now we're gonna grab the laptop and let me see which way you guys can see better, like that. We're gonna stick the opening to the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that, okay? Now what you wanna do, you wanna just twist it like this and you wanna hear a big click sounds, that's what you wanna hear all around in the front end. Don't worry, you're not breaking anything, just loosening up this clip to the side, Work yourself on the side, go by the grill, make sure you hit those click sounds, go all the way to the back corner. You can do the back tie too, sticking it right there. And once it's loose enough, then you can grab from the corner and just wiggle around a little bit and it will snap the rest of the clips and you can just simply remove the bottom cover. You can use a toothbrush, clean up the mesh, the air ventilation here and I can see I really don't like this design there's no GPU installed on this model uh, the fan is all the way here passively blowing right over the CPU and has to exhaust all the way here there's a made a little uh, wave passage so it directs the air over the components over the power circuit and stuff like that I really I'm not a big fan of this one because it's really bad passively cooling. They should put a heat pipe, heat sink properly. Anyway, so we can't do anything about that. So first thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling this power backward, slide it back about half a millimeter and put it underneath and then it just snaps up towards the ceiling. Now, for the fan, you can clean it right on top here. You can just use a toothbrush, hold it with one hand, gently just wipe it like this and blow some air and everything will come out. 
but if you want to remove it one screw two three screws and the fan will come out very easy but there is no need for that the fan connector is right in here right in here you can just pull it out gently and the fan connector will come out so you can take it outside clean it to push it back in it goes in only one way there we go so just clean it right where it is you're gonna remove the four screws on the heat sink if you call this heat sink i call it just piece of copper there's no piping or anything once you remove it you can just lift it up and you can see the thermal paste right underneath you're gonna grab one sheet, a little bit of the workshop towel. So I'm gonna rip it from here. You're gonna spray the alcohol on top. You're gonna swipe over and do round around. You don't have to go crazy cleaning uh, on the sides in here, these ones in here. As long as you clean the crystal die, you're more than fine. You don't have to go nifty cleaning the whole motherboard, everything. So here again, just swipe over and clean it up. Right now, you want to grab one drop of the thermal paste on the middle of the crystal die right there. Fair amount. It's not conductive. It's just going to spread around, so don't worry about it. Grab the heat sink, put it, align it, and put it down. You want to cross screw them. There's a the numbers on them. One, two, three, four. So you want to cross screw them. As long as you cross screw them, you don't need to follow the numbers. You can go three, four, two, one, or one, two, three, four. The reason is this way the thermal paste will spread evenly over the heat sink. And there we have it. Once this one is done, use a toothbrush to clean up the excess of dust, whatever you have, it's safe to do it. Once it's done and put the screws, everything, you wanna grab the fan connector, make sure you bring it over the connector evenly, and then you wanna push it down right on the motherboard, and then you wanna slide this metal bracket over. Once you're done with this one, you wanna grab the bottom cover, Set it right on top, align it, push the corner, the back, like that, and the mat, and make sure you do nice click sounds. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together. And the last thing down here is to put the screws. Remember the long screws, they go all the way in the back row, and the medium in the middle row, and the front row is the short one. Just remember, once you you unplug the battery, you plug it back in, you power on. It might take five to 10 seconds to boot up because we disconnected the battery. Or well, sometimes, depending on your motherboard, it will boot up right away. That's gonna be just for initial startup. So don't panic. All right, I'm just gonna finish up the, the screws and we are gonna power on so you guys can see that it does turn on. I'm gonna plug in the battery, the charger, I don't know if it has any charge. Well, it does have some charge. So let's plug it in. And we're gonna wait a few seconds and there we go. We have the logo right there. And it's gonna start loading up the screen. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.